All right, welcome back. So I finally found the auto advance uh, dialogue option in the settings, which is a little embarrassing, but don't worry. The no commentary run is starting as of this recording. So for those of you who just want to watch the story and not listen to me talk, don't worry about it. It's fine. Or heck, you're probably already listening to it. And it's just fine. So yeah, it's all good. Uh, this particular episode is probably going to be very uh, social link heavy, so don't expect too much combat. I'm just going by Fabian Chang's guide on game facts, so. Well, not entirely by his guide, and I'll explain that af after this. So Chie wants us to go into the TV world to kind of train Yukiko to make her stronger, get more adapted to it, but we'll have plenty of time to work with Yukiko after when we go to the next dungeon. And now it's talking about all the stuff for the Vita version, like with the touchscreen, which we can't do, considering I'm, I'm playing this on a PlayStation TV. So, but it's all the stuff that you, you can access all the stuff regardless, but all, through the main menu. But I think I see a Persona 3 game on top of the TV. What the fuck? I don't see how that how that works, because they're both in the same unit. Never mind. So, yeah, I didn't go entirely by Fabian Chang's guide, so what we need to do is we need to do something what I thought was like an obscure side quest, but apparently it relates to a social link, but it's all good considering that this game gives you kind of a lot of leniency for social links, at least in my opinion. So what we need to do is get a tap soda, not a tab, a tap. We need to go to the shrine district. And we need to talk to this little kid in the green jacket. Apparently he wants some tap soda because catching bugs makes him thirsty. Well, you're a nerd for catching bugs, but here you go. So he's going to give us a Tatsuhimi Ladybug, which is apparently very useful. Well, not very useful. It's necessary for getting a particular uh, social link item. So that is useful, but still. So now Marie wants to do a social link, and we will, but we had to go to the Velvet Room in order to get a few personas of certain arcanas. So I'm going to cut right here. And because there's some personas that I don't want you seeing because they're spoilerific. So I'll see you after the cut. Okay, and we're back. Sorry about that. It's just that you need to get certain, eight, like, arcana related personas. Considering that. Considering that, uh. Oh, what was it? Huh? Considering that they help you improve the relationship with a partner. So I got Laxmi. I believe that's how you pronounce the name of the Aeon Arcana. So, now we're going to go hang out with Marie, because we got a good old persona. So we're going to Juness. Yeah, for being somebody who's apparently a poet, she's not that good with words. Like, she has a weird time pronouncing them. Even though the Velvet Room should have inhabitants that are, hey. for the most part, relatively intelligent. Well, I guess street smarts aren't really a thing that they teach in the Velvet Room. That was the whole point of Persona 3. That was a whole relationship with uh, Elizabeth. So like I said in the previous video, certain Arcan uh, social links from other Arcanas are do come in for other social links. Well, whatever. Can I ask you your name? Let her introduce herself. Otherwise she seems... Otherwise it's impolite. Or I don't freaking know. Marie-chan... That's such a Westerner European name for somebody who's in Japan. Are you a foreign exchange student? What's with that little bell around your neck? This is shows a lot of stuff. Wouldn't you like to know? Chie, you're broke. You can't afford TVs. I wonder if you brought the t if you brought the TV uh, to somewhere else, could you still use it? Can you turn it? To star scandals? Oh, God. Uh, can you even watch it in that room? Why? Th why the hell not? I mean, I didn't say that even... Well, it's a tiny room! Like, maybe a little small TV for, uh... Maybe a small TV for the Velvet Room. Like, a little built-in one. But I can't really see them getting a big, a flat screen. Can you imagine Igor just having a big old fucking flat screen in the Velvet Room uh, limousine? Uh, life without kung fu movies. Ugh. I need Bruce Lee, senpai. 
Electric Loutwit. Oh my god. It, you get it? it? This is kind of the reason why Marie's not my favorite social link waifu. Like, it was cute when Elizabeth did it, but this... I don't know. This is the best food ever made. It's called steak. The f it's steak. It tastes terrible. You are dead to me. I think if Marie does not like steak, and I think we've established that she does, she is dead to me. <laughs> uh, that's why Chie is on my good side. He's got good taste in food and movies. Wow, and Marie is just so bitter. You are so blunt. Jesus. Maybe get some aloe for that burn. Marie, don't be a bitch. That was my friend you just dissed. Don't they have anything else to do? If they have TVs, they should just be watching them at home all day. Er a day. Hey, I just gave that kid a soda! What the fuck? I want it, I want it. Oh, ugh. I said no, you'll rot your teeth. Look at that kid in a shit run. Hey. You think- No. I don't think that. You don't remember? I don't honestly see that being the case, Marie. Honestly, I seriously doubt that was ever Marie at any point during her life. Because Velvet Room siblings, that actually is a good question, now that I think about it. What? Oh, so Margaret was the one who gave her the name Marie. You're kidding me, right? Why? Jesus. Like, how did, like, apparently Igor was the one who created the Velvet Room siblings, which is Margaret, Elizabeth, and Theodore. Theodore is, or Theo, as he's more commonly called, is, uh, exclusive to the Persona 3 portable female route. Maybe I might show that off one day. I never actually played it that much. I played the male route. I didn't really explore the female route. Not, not as much as I should have. Oh, so this is actually important for Marie's social link. It is a bamboo comb. Hmm. Keep in mind, here's a little hint for Marie's ultimate persona. Bamboo. There. That's all the hint you get. Okay, and here's another one. You know what? Nah, not another hint. Or, okay. Here's another hint. Platinum. No, no, Clover. Clover was the name of the studio at the moment. Clover Games. You know, uh, Hedeki Kamiya's group. Kamiya. There's your hint about Marie's social link. So Marie's whole social link is that she doesn't remember shit. She's just kind of got a feeling of nostalgia over some places, but for the most part, her memory is absolute garbage. Chie, you don't even want to get in on this. Oolong tea for everybody! Everybody! See ya. Yeah, so apparently Igor made all the Velvet Room siblings, but my question is like. Welcome home! Uh. Like, did he just like craft meta clay or something? Or did he just like snap and then bam? Or. Okay, so now let's go ahead and use that Tatsuhimi Ladybug. So we need to go ahead and go to what is usually the item store. But now it's called the Shiroku Pub. Where she's a bartender. Oh yeah, there we go. I turned my store into a nightclub once normal business hours are over. That doesn't matter. Nocturnal Oasis. Oh, that sounds sick. And I'm a butterfly of the night. Yes, you are. It's a no-no to drag what happens here in the light of day. Remember that. She brushed you off. Unless you have something that catches her interest. But I do! Everyone has countless numbers of faces. This is the face I wear during the night. My other faces. Oh, 
shit. <sighs> okay, I apparently messed up again. I messed up again, everybody. Because apparently what I need to do is, I forgot, y you need to get a gem. You need to get a gem for her to actually give a shit about you. So I messed that up. Okay, so maybe we will show off a dungeon today. <laughs> I said today would be mostly, <laughs> today would be mostly, uh, you know, social link stuff, but apparently, yeah, freaking <laughs> due to my incompetence, there you go. So now we gotta go to Parn Rain. Unlike Chia, Yukiko has an umbrella. Eh, it's eh, it's all right. I guess we can go buy uh, Yukiko some equipment and then uh, and then we ha then we go to the dungeon and then we'll find ourselves a gem, because apparently we need gems to progress this side quest. Oh boy, Maroka's going off on his on some shit. You're doing it as a study, you don't have time to fool around, right? Urgh. Yeah, it's funny how he mentions freedom. Because unlike most SMT games, the Persona series, with the exception of one, and I think two. I'm pretty sure it's just one that has this, but... There is no law or chaos element to, uh... To work with in pers in the Persona series, with the exception of with the exception of one where you do have uh, uh, affiliation choices, where you can make a quote unquote bad or good decision. Like if you have an option to kill the main bad guy in like a second, like before the game even gets started, you know, and you take it because you're being a dick. Oh well, no, that's stupid. Uh. Hang on. Hang on. I need to confirm a few things. I will cut back to this. Give me a minute. Okay, sorry about that. I keep cutting, don't I? Let's go. Oh shit, I didn't buy Yukiko any stuff. Damn it! I am so off my game today. Ah, whatever. Whatever. Uh, fine. I forgot to tell you, for some reason I feel a powerful shadow in the castle. Okay, well, at least that that gives us kind of a reason to, you know, do this. Let's go to the shopping district. So like I mentioned in the first video, or when we first did uh, combat with Yosuke Shadow, if we go back to certain dungeons, we can go over here, check this. No, 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 we gotta go to the back. And bam, you get the skill spanner. You get special weapons for your party members if you go back to their respective dungeons. Now these can actually be really powerful weapons. Not right now, considering I have overpowered shit. So, I forget, does Chie, I guess Chie's would probably be in Yukiko's dungeon as well. So let's go ahead and, uh, yeah, that'll be a decent idea. Let's go ahead and go to Yukiko's dungeon, get rid of that shadow, and then, uh, oh, Teddy just forgot. Ta-da! Brand new gag classes! <laughs> per Yuki-chan's request, they have lenses in them. So now we have the gag glasses that Yukiko so wanted, was so yeah, excited to wear. So, let's actually go ahead and use some clothing stuff. Uh, let's wear, whoop, let's wear the, we actually have a bunch of clothes, clothing that we could uh, try on. Where did I put that? Uh, ba, 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 ba. Okay, let's wear the Yasuo High jersey. Let's put everybody in the Yasuo High jersey. That'll be a good idea. These outfits aren't really spoilerish, but they you do get them from doing special certain things, from doing certain side quests. But I did those. I mentioned I already got most, it, most if not all the side quest costumes so and now we're wearing the Yasuo high jerseys 
Yeah, there we go. We got these from Moroka. And this is like the first costume that we got in the game. So, for what we're going to be doing here today is we're going to be trying looking for gems. By either fighting shadows or... by Yeah, fighting shadows. And then we need to go back to that lady at Shiroku Pub at night to give her the gems that we found. Oh, actually, it finally gave us a wand, Arcana, so we can actually, uh, we can actually get more experience. Or not! Let's just get a chess key, I guess. Not that we need more, arc more XP, but that is an easy way to level up in this game and get your persona super strong. So, lots of stuff. But, uh, the, the card will change and have more, like, herbs on it the higher, like, in later dungeons, so you'll level up even more. So the more of those green herb things on it, the more XP you'll get. So what we're looking for is some um, gems. Just gems in general. Now I'm probably, I might cut to another portion. Because I think what I usually do is I just sell everything to Daidara to get more equipment. And that probably wasn't the smartest idea. So what I need to do is look for something like called Iolite or something that sounds gem related. And I will cut. Well first, what I'm gonna show off is I'm gonna show off going getting all these chests, obviously. I'm gonna show off the special shadow in this dungeon, which by defeating it you get a lot of extra courage. And you also get a, a special weapon. A special weapon kinda similar to Yosuke's dungeon. Yosuke's didn't have one because, I guess, they just wanted to give you a freebie. There are two enemies. Uh, Hang in there. Let's go ahead and guard real quick, and let's show off Yukiko and uh, Chie's techniques. Hiya! Oh, shit. Boy, I am just off my game today, aren't I? Because now, uh, Yukiko is, on direct com is not on direct commands. Whoops. Uh, oh, tactics, tactics, tactics. So we can actually change that here directly. All right. Let's do guard. Let's give Yosuke... Let's make Yosuke guard, too. Let's have her attack. Boom. Nice one. And now we have Yukiko's techniques. Okay. So she has a lot of buff, a lot of healing spells, and she actually has our first area uh, magic attack, Maragi. Whenever the uh, spell has the it has M A in front of it, it's a all enemy attacking technique. So, very useful. Uh, another thing that this game does for the the golden port that the original does not do. Excuse me. Certain party members have special relationships with each other. I say that because well, they're all friends, obviously, but certain party members have. Very unique uh, team-up attacks. Like occasionally, uh, for critical attacks, certain members will do instead of having the all-out attack. Certain party members, like uh, Chie or Yosuke, will say, "Hey, let me handle this one," and they'll just want a one-on-one -on -one thing with the opponent. I think Chie has a special item somewhere in here. I want to say that she does. They'll say, "Hey, let me take care of that," and they'll do their own special technique that does a lot of damage. I think it's over here somewhere. No? I guess not. Could have sworn that Chie had an item in here. Oh well, it doesn't really matter. Uh, so, and Chie's move is called Galactic Punt, which basically automatic, automatically knocks out one enemy out of combat. So it's really useful. Some of them have a really huge mass uh, all-encompassing attack. Some of them have a really powerful single hit attack. Uh, you know, pretty cool stuff. But for... But for this edition of the game, they have special team-up attacks. And depending on who's in your party at the moment, at least two of them probably have a special relationship. In this case, Chie and Yukiko, being best friends, have that special kind of relationship. And if they attack together, then they'll do a special technique. Where they both go, on, both go in the middle of the screen and use their personas to do something really cool. So, uh, ooh, two more. 
Um, yeah, let's go for half experience. Let's get more money in a chest key. Sweet bonus! I don't really think we need all that much experience right now. So we got a little less. We got a black lamp. We're looking for gems. We haven't found one yet. Let's actually use one of the many chest keys that we've gotten. Because shuffle time gives us a shit ton of that stuff. I think fire vow gives you more power for fire based elemental uh, spells. So that might be useful. Or maybe not. I really should have equipped Yukiko with her better equipment. Sorry. So I think, with the exception of, I think I might skip, cut after a little while and just get to the uh, special boss of this particular dungeon. But, so, yeah, I think I'll do that for more for every other dungeon. If I have free time, if the guide gives me free time to work with, I'll just skip to the special shadow and show you what that is about. Hopefully I'm not going to screw up any more of this side quest stuff. So, sorry about that, again. Oh, but since we have a sweet bonus, we can get, actually get all three cards. So that gives us another sweet bonus. And this is how the game gets you really, really going. And how and it makes your characters get a lot of buffs and stuff. So we actually got a sweet bonus, and that gives us... Uh, now we'll get another sweet bonus. And we also, that little cups card. Cups, swords... And I believe, and I don't think we've seen swords just yet, uh, and wands give us stat boosting stuff. Oh, and uh, coins. They give us stat boosting stuff or persona uh, alterations. Right. Let's go for this and this and get this one and then this one. And another sweet bonus. I don't care if I have half experience, but Izanagi's endurance goes up, so that's fine. So yeah, this is what makes the game a lot more, a lot easier than most. Uh, ooh, we got blue quartz. So we finally got a gem. Yeah. So now we can bring that to uh, the Shiroku pub. And then we can go ahead and start that freaking side quest that I messed up on. So again, just terribly sorry about that. I'm going to try keeping a closer eye on CAD, on Fabian Chang's guide. A little bit of a closer eye on it. So that I don't miss anything like that that might affect the social link. But for the social link for that one that it's related to... Ooh, more luck. That's always helpful. For the social link that that's related to... Oh, well, half money. That's fine. The social link that's related to kind of works a little bit differently than most of them. It's one of the few social links that can actually be progressed when it's raining. So that's very useful. So that's very convenient. There's only a few social links that mainly happen indoors that can really work like that. And there's actually another social link that you can max out if you've done the proper steps all in one day. So that's also really useful. And that's actually with a character we've already met before. I know, I know. I'm kind of spanning for time. But I keep getting sweet bonuses, so that's always helpful. And I wasn't paying attention because I was fiddling around my laptop. Okay, sorry about that. Sorry. So hey, this wasn't a complete social link episode, it was actually kind of a dungeon -y episode! Woo! What do you know? <laughs> Sorry. I apologize, I know. I keep saying, hey, I'm not gonna waste anybody's time, but go figure. Uh. But, if it makes anybody feel better, you wanna call me an idiot? Fine, I fully accept that. Uh. But I don't think this will happen again. This, hopefully, it won't happen again for any other future videos. I got lucky because this game is kind of forgiving. What is, what I'm gonna do is, oh, well, no, oh, I can just get both. I can get both. What I'm, oh, I think we got two chess keys. And we got Angel, which is a low-level Justice Arcana, which works for one of the Arcanas that we're gonna be working towards. For... For future videos, yeah, like I said, I'm just going to cut directly to the special shadow boss that appears after you've beaten a certain dungeon. After that, you know. And that'll just be me showing off. Because I don't think anybody wants to really see the entire retread of a dungeon. But this is actually pretty useful because once you get a, a sweep bonus, 
you can just it can just keep on and ro rolling and rolling in shuffle time, which is how you get your character stats up really freaking high. Let's go for half XP. Let's go for avoid encounters. Let's change our Arcana. Ooh, Persona level up. The Emperor Arcana. It's one of my favorites. I like the Emperor Arcana. It's one of my favorite Arcanas. So now Izanagi's level will be increased. So even if we didn't get that much experience, Izanagi's still good. And his stats are looking pretty good. Not nearly as good as, uh... Not nearly as good as my personal Izanagi, but... He'll get there. He'll get there. This might be an Izanagi that I'd make for this playthrough. And if I get really... If I feel like... Um... If I feel like really getting desperate and I think I'd need to like make a boss a lot easier, then I'll crack out my personal Izanagi, which is not to brag, it's a pretty it's pretty beastly, if I do say so myself. It does like 9999 damage, you know, whatever. <laughs> Such a freaking nerd. Let's get that, let's get that, let's do that. Natataishi becomes Fornius, which is a hermit arc which is a hermit persona. Which is actually uh, an arcana that we do not need to actually ever equip. So now if you get too many arcanas, you gotta get rid of one. You gotta get rid of one arcana. Cause you gotta get rid of one persona, cause you can't have too many. And you get more personas as you level up. But since this is a new game plus run, I don't really need to do that, now do I? I can just keep on, I can have all the personas I want. You know what? Let's not go back over there. Let's just go fight that special shot. No, wait. Forgot. Yukiko's castle is eight floors, not six. Uh, I'll go ahead and uh, I'll go ahead and cut here, and then I'll cut right ahead to when I'm fighting the special shadow. So I will see you guys there. Okay, and we're back. Sorry about that. Okay, so a few things while I was exploring the dungeon, I found a sword card. Which actually gives you skill cards to work with, so that's really cool. I found a few more uh, lucky hands, which gave us a ton of experience. You could go actually learn uh, Medea, which is a mass area healing spell, so that's really useful. And now we're dealing with a contrarian king. This is a special shadow, and it's a lot stronger than some of the other shadows. Yeah, it's a lot stronger than some of the other shadows that we fought thus far. And one of the things about this particular shadow is it can summon... Oh, Yukiko's actually doing a critical attack. That's cool. It can actually summon up other enemies. I believe I might have shared that off in another video, or maybe I didn't. It's kind of like Yukiko's shadow. Oh my goodness. This thing does a decent amount of damage. Let's go ahead and hit it with Rakunda. Maybe Yosuke, and Yosuke is pretty pissed right now. Just one enemy left. So let's go ahead and actually give the pissed off man more physical attack. There we go. And let's actually put uh, Yukiko's skills to work. She does healing spells mostly. Kill Rush, that's not good. Oh. Well, never mind. Let's go ahead and hit up Tsukaja on Narukami. So yeah, by defeating these types of enemies... Oh, we did a critical attack ourselves. That's pretty useful. So, by defeating these guys, you get more courage for your social aptitudes. And you also... You also unlock a special item. Similar in the way that Yosuke got his special weapon. But, uh... Let's hit it with... Let's go ahead and use Daya on ourselves. Similar to Yosuke's skill spanners, but now you have to actually put in effort for this kind of thing. So, since it had fire resist... Oh, fuck. Seriously? Oh, don't tell me that. Okay, so... That was embarrassing. Uh, 
How bad did we get our asses kicked? Pretty bad. Okay, so maybe we don't go fight that thing again. You know what? I... Oh, you know what? Mm, no. No, no, no. I'm not gonna do that. I was gonna say, you know what? Why don't I just equip one of my really high-level personas and go kick its ass? But you know what? That'd be cheap. So what we're gonna do is we'll come back and we'll go fight that thing later. <laughs> so, we got kind of what we came for. It's a good thing the game didn't just fucking, like, game over me and I had to reload. <laughs> it's a good thing that wasn't the case. Oh my god. Oh, but... Hey. Hey, Nanako. I totally didn't get my ass whooped. How are you doing? Oh, okay, so I don't even have to press any buttons. So this is how... If you... Just starting from here for the uncut version, and then you look at the... Uh, no commentary version, this is how it's gonna play out for most voice dialogue sections. That's late. So the pace is actually a lot better, and I won't have to accidentally skip any dialogue. But hey, don't worry, family trip, so that's good. Hello, Dad? Yeah, I'm okay. She has so much hope in her voice. Uh-oh, what happened, Nanako? He said to give you the phone. Nanako? He can't take those days off. Oh, no! Nanako, no! Oh. Sorry. Hey, you know how I said I could take those off? Just kidding! Oh. I mean, yeah, I get it, but I mean... <sighs> Poor Nanako. It's not Dojima's fault, really. How do you think she's holding up? That kid is gonna be a freaking emotional wreck. Oh, spoiler alert. This is not the first time life is gonna freaking clothesline Nanako. We don't need to study, we're intelligent enough as is. Oh, shit. Well, we'll do it tomorrow. We'll go to the Tatsu- we'll go to the Shiroku pub tomorrow night. This is not gonna be the first- this is not the first- Well, yeah, this is not the first, nor will it be the last time Nanako gets freaking sucker punched by life. God dang. Just like, constantly, just getting wrecked. Just getting set up, and then just getting knocked the fuck down. Ah, <laughs> oh, emotional clotheslines. That's the worst. Oh, it's not great. It's not great. But, I mean, it's not Dojima's fault. He's a detective. He has a busy schedule to work with. But don't worry. We're gonna make it up to Nanako right now. You're free today? Wanna go somewhere? Yukiko's coming too. How about you, Nanako chan? Wanna come? Yeah. Um. Yeah, come with us. Have fun! Have fun, damn it! Uh, I can come? You will have fun today. Yeah. Every day's great at your Juness. So, this is kind of where the uncut commentary and the no commentary versions of each of the playthrough catch up to each other because of this because of the auto the auto play the auto advance you know Why'd you bring poor Nanako I don't know what Golden Week is but it sounds awesome Where else is there to go? It's constantly on the PSN store Not you Juness Going to make boxed lunches. I was gonna make the boxed lunches. Yeah. You can make boxed lunches, Nanako chan? Oh, so you're the family cook? Pretty impressive, big bro. <laughs> hey, bro. Here comes another oh, motif. You cook? Well, and you wonder why they call him the sister of oh, King Penasteel. I'm a pretty good cook too, you know. No, you're not. You, you are not. 
That's another trope that I seriously don't get. Cute girls are ten tend to be the worst cooks. We'll figure that- let's find that out sooner or later. But yeah, it's not really much of a spoiler. Well, it kinda is, but... My, my, doth the lady protest too much? And hey, hmm. I never said I cooked. But I have this weird feeling... Like Keep I that waited. phrase in mind, Yosuke. You're gonna have it repeated toward you later on. Beautiful women apparently can't cook. That's what anime says. Here, Nanako-chan can be our judge. I bet we'll make something that ranks up there with your mom's cooking, Nanako-chan. Oh, you had to say the mom, the M word. She died in an accident. Nice one, douche. Nice one. Hey, Yosuke. Right in the emotions. I see. My mom's dead, and my dad doesn't pay attention to me. Know. I don't have a mom. I have dad with me. And now I have a Do you really? Oh. a lot of fun today. I love Juness. You just can't keep her down. That's good. You just can't keep her down. We'll play with you anytime you want, Nanako-chan. Oh. Yeah, we should hang out more often. She gets knocked down, but she gets up again. On, You're never going to keep her down. Oh. <laughs> Until <laughs> Oh, but this game just throws so much shit in her face. She's a strong girl. I'll say. Yeah, she makes me feel like I'm the little kid here. That's it's like it's I like, like it. life gives her the stone cold stunner every day, <laughs> but she just gets back up again. She refused to tap out. <laughs> oh. Do you want something too? Hmm. Gives you a carefree smile. You feel a faint bond form between you and Nanako. And guess what that means? Social Link! Yeah! And this is one that I think is pretty cool. It is the Justice Arcana. Uh, the JoJo counterpart to this is Enya Guile, who is nothing like Nanako. Well, actually, I take that back a little bit. They're a little similar. Because both characters have very, very strong connections to family. They both really, really care about their respective family members. Enya with her son, and Nanako with her dad, and with you. Narukami. Or you as in the player. So, yeah, it works. So, go ahead, I'll... I'm gonna go ahead and talk about the Justice Arcana. <clears throat> Portrayed as a young wo as a woman holding a sword and balance. The Justice Arcana symbolizes a strict allegory of justice, objecti objectivity, rationality, and analysis. Kind of, er, kind of uh, ironic considering that the character is a child. Gameplay-wise, the personas of the Justice Arcana are commonly personas excelling in light-based affinities. Let's go ahead and go to the shopping district. Justice personas are usually various orders of angels and are otherwise deities of justice, order, or vengeance. This kind of relates to Nanako because since her mom has passed away, Nanako is... her social link kind of deals with the concept of death and heaven. Didn't I tell you no already? But we got gems! Look at all these gems that I have for you! Look at them! Look at the gems in my hands! Let's talk with her. Won't you listen to my troubles? I have a little one named Akihiko. Wait a second. Akihiko Sanada? But lately he seems that no matter what food I offer him, he refuses to eat. Bullshit! That guy eats protein like a motherfucker! Is it because I have a night job, or... Could it be that he's realized that I'm not his real mother? What? I don't think I've ever heard of Akihiko having mother problems. The fish in the tank suddenly begins to swim about in a lively manner. Ah. Oh, so it's the fish. <laughs> Sorry. For a second I thought, he wants to eat the bug. He won't eat the breadcrumbs I give him at this rate. Please. Sure, hand it over. Give me a fish hook. He's a flirt with me right now. Oh, mama, if only you knew. <laughs> the fish loves it. He loves it. My god, this is a fish hook. But hey, we need this. We need this fish hook. That'll be for fishing. Right. 
I didn't talk more about the Justice Arcana. Commonly, characters of the Justice Arcana are concerned with matters of fairness, and otherwise are very stoic individuals. Even though Nanako is a very upbeat and happy little girl. Uh, let's talk about the other representatives in the game. In Persona 1, we actually have Hidehiko Us Usugi, also known as Brown. Yeah, he's kind of a, one of the optional members. I say optional teammates in Persona 1, because like I said in a previous video, here you can actually exchange uh, some of the gems that we've gotten for unique weapons. They're more like joke weapons. So that's cool. But we are a fish hook, so that's cool. He was, in Persona 1, you had optional teammates that you can get on your side. And Hidehiko is one of them. He represents the Justice Arcana, but nobody likes him. Or maybe they do. I don't know. I don't like him. I'd rather, I went with the uh, cooler teammate. So let's go back home. In Persona 2, there was no member. Oh, no, no. In Eternal Punishment, it was Katsuya Tsuo, which is Tatsuya's older brother, who's a police officer. <laughs> and in Persona 3, it is represented by... Well, Kanamata is another young child who is the party member of the Justice Arcana. And he also has issues with his mom, because his mom is also dead. <laughs> but... And in this game, in Persona 3, the actual party member... Not the actual party member. The uh, social link representative is Chihiro uh, Fushimi. Who is a girl that you meet in Persona 3. And... Oh, Yosuke wants to talk. Might be kind of weird uh, when we hung out yesterday, but do you want to hang out again today? Yosuke wants us to hang out. So, yeah, sure, we'll do that. We'll get that... F we'll get that, uh, fishing line later. Since we have free time now. So now Yosuke wants us to bring a few friends so that we can improve our social link with everybody. Everybody. Nanako and Ko and Daisuke. Uh, Chihiro was the student council president, and she is the male character social link and not the female one, which is what the... Female character goes for Ken. So. Alright, so I think that's... That's about it. That's for Justice. I wish she was cute. I have a younger... Don't shit talk your younger sister. I'm not cute. Oh. <laughs> Quick, she might slap your ass. <laughs> don't worry, you're not cute. Daisuke, don't be a douche. Huh? That's going kind of... Hey, hey, Are you hey, hey. You stupid or something? That's the Daisuke I know. I don't think he is. <laughs> Big bro. That TV's huge. I bet you could fit yourself into it. Don't be stupid. I get sucked into it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you could totally get sucked into the TV. <laughs> yeah. What a kidder that Daisuke is. <laughs> uh, you speak a word of this and you are dead. Uh, <laughs> oh, anyway. Alright. Daisuke is a huge asshole because <laughs> he was mean to Nanako. Honestly, I would have stabbed him for that. Sh could he have been a, not a social link, but still. Okay. So now it's... Yeah. Hmm. You have no plans today. You decide to go somewhere you don't usually go. Oh. It's time for... It's time... For... Ugh. It's time for another social link to get started. We're at the Yasuo Inaba station. No one is around. Seems the next train won't be coming for a while. Uh, let's buy a drink. I'm thirsty. Oh look, it's Pyro Jack. Another Magician Arcana. Got a tap soda. Go to the Shrine of the Shopping District. And now we have our other uh, social link. No one's on the premises. The Dusty Shrine. Doesn't seem to be well maintained. This is what the social link will be about. It's about this shrine. And... That fox! With a bib. Meow. 
Does it live at the shrine? It's playing some pretty ominous music. You know it's an Emma plaque in its mouth. Aww. Please help Grandpa's legs get better. Keita. So I guess Emma's are wishes that people give the shrines for... That they hope to come true one day. Upon closer inspection, you notice an unusually shaped leaf stuck on the back of the Emma. You don't recognize this leaf from the local plant life. So, this social link, which is the Hermit social link, is focused on doing side quests and helping out other people make their wishes come true. And in this case, it's going to show us kind of how these miracles work. But we'll have to help make these miracles work also. We have to put some effort into it. Oh, that's the grandpa of Keita, huh? My grandmother always used to say leaf shape like that was the best kind of ache remedy out there. Yeah, sure, take the leaf, dude. That's That technically belongs to you. And now, yeah! <laughs> One leaf and the aches and pains are gone. And now this old man can motor. Yeah, there he goes. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah! Oh, look, the fox is all happy. So this social link will focus on reestablishing this shrine and getting it in better condition. And help get it in this fox some uh, offerings. This is why we needed that fish hook. Because one of the social link, because one of the side quests that this game, this social link has, is fishing related. And also, this fox will play a pretty important part for uh, future dungeon crawlings. Looking up mirthfully. So, let me go ahead and explain the Hermit social link. Or Hermit Arcana. <clears throat> Portrayed as an old man in a dark place or cave, holding up a lantern, the Hermit is associated with wisdom, introspection, solitude, retreat, and philosophical searches. Gameplay-wise, the personas of the Hermit Arcana are commonly personas excelling in mental ailment skills. Mythological figures associated with the Hermit Arcana are usually hermits themselves, or otherwise figures or deities that exist and operate behind the scenes. Similarly, Hermit Arcana characters share the commonality of placing themselves in situations that hide them from the public eye. Hermit individuals uh, hide away from others or act in a more supportive role rather than putting themselves in the spotlight. Let's go ahead and go through the representatives, shall we? Let's see. Well, there are no representatives for Persona 1 or 2, at least that's what the wiki's telling me, but there is a social link for Persona 3, where the character Junpei Iori gives you an online game called, uh, he gives you a version, an online version of the game called Innocent Sin, which brings up a lot of freaking questions, considering that Persona 3 references the characters of Persona 2 and says what they're doing now and yet Innocent Sin is a video game based on their adventures which nobody would take seriously, nobody would, within their right minds unless the characters made the video game and it makes me confused. And the character that you re uh, interact with in that game is Maya or at least the character who calls herself Maya which is the name of the female protagonist in Persona 2. But apparently it is represented by a gentleman called Jin Shirato, who is a member of the antagonist team for Persona 3. Oh, I think they're going to introduce the the new character. Oh, but in JoJo, it's represented by one of my favorite Joe stars, Joseph Joe Star. I'm sorry I broke my Especially from uh, Persona, I mean from part 3 of JoJo. With his hermit's purple. I see. Very into the most intellectual member of the Joe Star fan. He's very intellectual, very quick on his feet, and kind of an older older gentleman of the group. 
good eye. Well, today is What is Children's Day? I don't know. Brought you a present. What is Children's Day? You went to Juness without her? Look, it's a platypus! <laughs> Look at the little platypus! It wild to decide what to get you. It's a little platypus! <laughs> wow, there's a picture on the front! It's a little platypus! <laughs> so Nature's greatest <laughs> mistake! Not its greatest I mistake. One too. Not that you're still a child or anything, but fair is fair. He got you some bitchin' swim trunks. <laughs> Although, in Persona for the animation, they're purple. Thank you so much. They're super stylish. Don't Aren't they hip? I thought you might need one soon. Oh well, boy. Let's eat. We're going to be using those swim trunks later on because in this game it has another portion where you use the swim trunks, but there is going to be a school trip. That's not a spoiler. That's that's kind of an expected thing in an anime. <laughs> There is no avoiding the school trip in an anime. <laughs> Damn it, I didn't get another book today. Oh well, whatever. All right. Uh, I think, I think this will be a good, actually, I think this will be a good stopping point for this particular episode because now uh, Mr. Fabian Chang is getting into some more complex stuff for uh, the social link stuff. So I'll need to do a little bit more research. And then I think I'll start working on the no commentary videos, but those will already be up by the time I, by the time this goes up. So, all right, until next time, thank you so much for watching.